You're back. Okay. Welcome back. Okay, I'm I'm back. So I'm going to start sharing a desktop. A moment. Okay, sharing. We didn't check the, the sharing desktop uh, first. So I'm doing now. Okay, could you see my presentation? Carolina? Okay, uh, could you see my presentation now? I don't know. Okay, it seems that it's working. So I'm going to start a my presentation here. First, uh, I'm going to speak about GPC Online, that is a special data infrastructure in local, uh, one of the cases is in local administrations and uh, success stories. Uh, first of all, I want to speak about the GPC Association that was born in 2010 within the frame of the GPC project. It's composed of different companies and non-business entities like uh, geographical institutes, uh, university, public administrations, etc. And it's one of the biggest international network of experts in free geomatics. We are in all in several in the main groups and organizations uh, like Inspire, OGC, OSGEO, uh, etc. Here you can see some of, of the of the awards of the project. I want to highlight the first prize in cross-border category. Uh, uh, by the European uh, Commission and several awards uh, by uh, NASA. GBC Local is composed of different products. Uh, the solutions are GBC Desktop, that is a geo desktop geographic information system uh, for advanced analysis. Also, uh, GBC Maps and GBC Mobile uh, for field data gathering. And finally, GBC Online, that is the objective of the objective of this presentation, that is an integral platform for spatial data infrastructure implementation. First product is GBC Desktop. It's uh, available for Linux, Windows, and Mac. Uh, there are portable and installable versions. It's translated to more than 25 languages, all of them by volunteers. Uh, it's user-friendly, and it can be customized. And this is a desktop GIS, uh, but not only a GIS, but uh, not only a GIS, but an SDI client. Here you can see several screenshots. You can create your own uh, views with the cartography, remote and local layers, uh, raster and vector layers with symbology, editing uh, tools, geoprocessing, etc. You can manage the tables, uh, also editing tables. You can create your own graphs. Uh, from the numerical data, and you can create your uh, maps with the, it's the graphical output. Uh, GBC Maps, it's a framework uh, for the development of mobile applications. It's uh, oriented to, uh, it's uh, recommended for inventory, census, reviews, etc. And it's available for Android and iOS. Uh, from GBC Maps, we can connect to GBC online projects and we can uh, manage all the data that uh, we have in our projects, in, in our geoportals. We can uh, download uh, an area, a small area, uh, where we are working, 
and we can edit the, this data, uh, we can measure, uh, we can get the information of the layers, etc. Here you can see several, uh, several screenshots. Uh, GBC Mobile, it's uh, available for Android from the Play Store, and it's also recommended for inventory, sensor reviews, inspections, etc. We can apply symbology and labeling, we can edit uh, uh, vector layers, we can create uh, customized forms from GBC Desktop that we can export uh, to GBC Mobile and uh, fill, uh, take uh, the data directly with these uh, forms, with, photo, uh, with uh, photo, uh, pictures, uh, graphs, uh, etc. combos. Here you can see some screenshots. And finally, GBC Online, that it's an integral platform to create special data infrastructures. From uh, with GBC Online, we can catalog, locate, and share information in an easy way through uh, viewers, map viewers. And they can be private uh, for the internal man management of the municipality, and also uh, public uh, geoportals for the uh, with all the information for the citizens. In a municipality, we have uh, more than more than eighty percent of the information that is. Uh, year referenced so it's very interesting this platform to manage this inf geographical information this information there is an uh, use limitations uh, layers and limitations uh, users uh, geoportals etc uh, here we can see an, ex an example of a map viewer uh, with all the uh, with the view the legend uh, the tools uh, different toolbar etc. We will see an example uh, later. And about data, we can manage our map viewers of the uh, in we can create a geoportal in, in less than a minute. If we have a shape file, we can create a geoportal in a more or less five minutes with the symbology, labeling, etc. It's very easy to print the information. So it's very useful for the non non-technical profiles of the municipality. For example, the administratives can uh, print the, the view directly from the viewer without uh, advanced knowledge. Uh, there are several basic editing tools that are useful for inventory, census, etc. And uh, we also have uh, tools for the temporary changes. About the information that we can manage in the geo portals, we can we can have the street maps with the basic information of the municipality, also the points of interest, municipal services. Uh, for urban planning and cadaster, urban uh, urban uh, planning and cadaster, you can have all the information about that. Uh, you also can link. Uh, we can link from GBC Online to the uh, cadaster management center and to the document manager, where you can see all the information of the uh, document manager on the uh, geo portal. About mobility, you can have all the information about with the buses, bus lines, metro, uh, cycle lines, parkings, etc. Also for urban accessibility, there are a lot of rules uh, every time more uh, about this information. So uh, it's very useful to have a geo portal with the pavement size, the passing size, the slopes, etc. About historical cartography, you can have uh, all the information of, about the, the old maps, uh, the, the, the ortho photos of different years, etc. Uh, about environment, you can have a geo portal with uh, private and public uh, layers, for example, the to manage the parks and green areas, uh, the abandoned uh, lands, uh, etc. You also can manage the, the urban waste with the skips, uh, recycling, uh, the waste recycling sites, uh, the clean spots, etc. Also about heritage, we got, you can have all the information with the paths, the archaeological tasks, uh, boundary markers, uh, all this information. You you also can link you also can link link sorry, uh, PDF files or images to the different elements of the 
of the uh, viewer. About trade and industry, you can have all the local businesses, for example, to promote uh, these, uh, these businesses. Uh, also the industrial parks, you can have uh, the emergency exits, the companies with uh, dangerous uh, issues, uh, so dangerous things, uh, etc. Also about uh, citizen safety, the police can have their own uh, geoportal uh, with this information, for example, the crimes or the accidents, and they also can manage the temporary changes, the temporary uh, uh, changes between the different uh, crimes. So they can put more uh, police in a concrete area in several uh, in several days, for example, managing this information from GPC Online. And of course, uh, about tourism, uh, you can have the, the cultural events, the thematic maps about Eastern, Christmas, all the information about closed streets in the different events. Uh, so you can, you can have this information of the municip municipality in, in a geo portal. The paths also. About municipality inventory, you can have the street, li the street lights, the uh, fountains, the vertical signs and horizontal signs. And uh, you also can keep the maintenance of these uh, elements from GBC Online. For example, if you have the street lights, you can have a, a field. If, the, if it has to be a street light has to be repaired or not, they can be in red or green color. So uh, the technician, can go and repair the, the street light and they can change the information directly from the uh, tablet, for example, uh, on the street, and they can manage this information, that, uh, edit this layer from the, from the street. And uh, there are, uh, we can create integrations, uh, for example, with sensors, with document managers, open data, etc. And of course, for socioeconomic analysis about ages, education, uh, jobs, uh, we can create different geo portals with this type of information. Uh, about success stories, at this moment, there are several success stories in different munici uh, municipalities uh, in Spain, in Uruguay, and there are also Another uh, GBC Online have is, has been implemented in several uh, big companies about uh, petrol, uh, for example, or in universities and uh, different uh, national administrations. For example, the, the, SDA, the uh, spatial data infrastructure of Uruguay <coughs> is also developed uh, with GBC Online. About municipalities, we have, for example, Shativa with a, a geo portal with urban planning, another one, another, another one with burning plans. Uh, Durazno in Uruguay, they have a general map. There are, they have another geo portal, public geo portal with the, the street lights, uh, the public transport, etc. In Cullera, they have more than 10 public geo portals uh, about envi environment and burning plan, uh, the mobility and transports, uh, agriculture, sports, beaches. They have managed the, the, the people that were uh, in the beach in uh, every moment. So uh, because of, of uh, COVID uh, restrictions, uh, they, they had a geo portal about this information and they have the they had the the beaches the different parts of the beach in red green or uh, yellow color depending on the people that were in every moment and on that for example they have five public geo portals about uh, they have a general map another and another ones with the street market the sports facilities and more than 20 private uh, geo portals uh, for the different, different departments. For example, the police, the secretary's office, the treasury, <clears throat> and they have also connect connection to the document, document manager with the construction permits, activities permits, uh, register of in inhabitants, the garage entrances, etc. They, uh, they ma uh, manage all this information in the document manager and they connect 
and it's shown on the Geo, GBC Online Geo Portal. Uh, they are private uh, layers. Another uh, municipality is Nakara with one public geo portal about uh, uh, urban planning uh, with the historical cadaster, uh, sector rules, protected areas. Zira municipality, they have three public geo portals with infrastructures, photovoltaic uh, panels, uh, urban planning. Another uh, a region in Spain is the Manchuela Conquense. Uh, there are municipalities with, be, with between 100 and 5,000 inhabitants. So uh, they have a, a geo portal, one geo portal per municipality, and they have all the main information uh, in this uh, geo portal. Every, every city, every town has a, a known uh, geo portal. And soon, the uh, GBC, uh, GBC Online will be, will be implemented in Albacete, in the capital of this province. And the uh, government of the province of Albacete, uh, that is the Diputación de Albacete, that manages the, um, the smallest uh, municipalities in, in the province, uh, they will have uh, GBC Online soon with uh, 87 uh, municipalities. And I'm going to show you how GBC Online is working. Uh, here we can see, for example, the Shativa municipality, they have four, uh, four geo portals. Uh, this one is about urban planning and they have a lot of information. For example, they have cadastral information. We can connect directly to the information of the parcels. We, have, we can get the cadastral reference and we can open the information about this parcel at the uh, electronic uh, cadastral electronic uh, portal. We also can get the information, for example, for the, the historic, the historic uh, cadastral. In this case, when we uh, create a layer with a historic, with a uh, for the option with the date uh, fields, we can activate this functionality and we can manage this information and we can see how the parcels uh, change in different uh, days in this case. So we can see this information directly on GBC Online. We also have uh, this information, for example, the protected, uh, uh, protected uh, monuments in this case, they have this information and they have a PDF, several PDF files with the information of the different uh, uh, locations. So, for example, this one. They also have a layer about uh, the rules of the different areas. So, uh, the citizen uh, doesn't have to go uh, to the municipality, to the city council, uh, to get this information. They can, they have uh, the parcel, so they can uh, click on their parcel and get the rules of their uh, parcel directly on the website, on the geo portal. And finally, they have, for example, the, <coughs> the old cadaster. <coughs> sorry. Uh, I'm going to zoom to the layer and they have all the information of the old cadaster. It's a raster file. All the layers can be downloaded on or not. The administrator uh, decides if uh, it has to be, it can be downloaded or not. And they have, for example, the auto photos of different years. For example, this year, it depends, it's an external layer. It depends on the on the server. Here we can see the information, and we have another year, for example, here. And if we access to this area, we can apply transparency and see the information information of the other year, or we can apply swipe to get the information of both both uh, layers. Another case is Cuyera, uh, for example. About uh, functionalities, we have uh, measure uh, tools 
we can share uh, the view. So if we have the, this view with uh, several layers and a zoom, we can share this uh, information to another uh, person. So we get an, a URL. And if we access to this URL, we get the same zoom, the same uh, layers, and uh, this geoportal. And we can have, we can print this uh, information. And about these other geoportals with this other uh, uh, municipality, this, uh, another municipality, Cullera, they have this information, for example, here. And they have, and it's another version, so they have, they can import uh, vector files, they can import services, uh, and they have uh, tools to draw on the view, and they can be printed uh, directly with the, with the print uh, tool. So I'm going to, to go back to the, uh, to the presentation. If you are interested in GBC Online implementation, uh, you can contact us. The source code is available, but uh, the GBC Association, Association offers this service of the of implementation. So if you are interested, you can contact uh, the GBC Association, or you also can uh, use the GBC uh, mailing lists. So thank you very much. I'm going to go back to the portal Hi again okay yeah thank you carolina thank you um we have one question yes. that was asked in venueless um sterling asked did anyone here use gvc in university courses i am curious where it, where it is being used in academia yeah yeah sorry, uh, sorry it was uh, cut in academia if it can be used in academic uh, issues? Uh, Sterling is curious on where it is being used in academia. Ah, okay. There are there are uh, a lot of uh, universities that uh, that are using GBC. Uh, GBC. Uh, for example, GBC Desktop is uh, is free. It's open source. You can download the, this uh, this tool directly from the website. And they are using this uh, in academia. They are using uh, GBC desktop in, in several universities. Uh, there are several uh, agreements with, uh, with uh, some uh, university, for example, uh, UMX in Mexico. Uh, people, the uh, students that finishes uh, their, uh, their, their courses. Studies. Yes, uh, they uh, several of them that uh, are interested. They are using GBC Online uh, to present uh, the information of their final project uh, on GBC Online. We have a, a, an agreement with the university, and they are using GBC Online for this uh, issue. Yes, so uh, you can use in academy. Yes. Thank you very much. There are no no more questions. So unless you want to add something, then we'll see you again at yeah, 11. OK. OK, then we're going to close it here. OK, thank you. And you're welcome. Thank you for your talk. It was really nice. And now we're, we will get ready for the next talk. Thanks a lot. OK, thank you very much.